Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some FTL, shall we? Well, this is a game that I've been talking to people on the channel about playing, and I have played this game before. Steam says I played this game last seven years ago, um, and I believe that I've completed the game once or twice on some good runs, but generally I die horribly. I find this game to be awesome, but brutal. I don't really remember how to play. I remember um, I'm on a ship, I'm sending people around to different rooms, and I had a really good time with this game, but I thought, let's try it again. Like, let's boot up this game. I love roguelikes, I like sci-fi, like, let's go into this, and maybe I can learn from you all uh, how to get better at it, because, boy, I am bad at this game. All right, so I'm gonna just do a new game, because I have no idea where my previous game was uh, from 2016. Uh, so let's go here and, yeah, confirm. Okay, um, so it looks like I have, uh, some different ships that I can use, the Kestrel and the Taurus, okay. Oh, I like them, that's right, they're both kind of fun. Um, I'm just gonna start with the basic ship, alright. And, uh, we've got three crew members, um, we have, uh, some burst lasers, uh, let's see. Oh, that's right. You get drones with the Taurus. That's cool. Boy. Um, enhanced edition content. Um, yeah, see, this enhanced edition came out. I don't even know. I'm not sure what this even is. Or if I had this back in 2016 or... I just don't know. Um, so I think the best thing to do, because this is a punishing game, um, with a lot of depth and complexity, is just to start and get blown away. All right, so let's go ahead, and we've got, um, uh, let's see, this is Steli, who is a human, and Zin, uh, I'm not pronouncing this right, uh, Shin Shin, maybe, uh, also a human, and we got three humans, we got people, go, the data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But to get to the exit before, uh, but get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Those rebels. Tip: Exits. It's tempting to rush for the sector exits, but it, exploring is the only way to upgrade your ship. Try to get as much out of each sector as possible. Okay. All right. So, um, here we are. So we don't want to jump yet. Uh, let's see here what's going on with... Here's my ship. Okay. And... Uh, let's see. That's evasion. That's oxygen. Um, move the crew around. Uh, let's see. I can pause the game. Yeah, that's actually really helpful. This is my hull integrity. Here's my fuel. Here's my missiles. And here's my drone parts. And this is my scrap, which you use to, like, buy stuff. Um... And then, here's my shields level, my engine, my med bay, my oxygen, and my weapon. So, as far as I remember, you need people, like, working the different stations to give you the benefits. Um, open the ship screen. Unavailable when the ship is in danger. Okay. Um, and this helps you, like, allocate where you're putting your power, I believe. Um, and you can spend scrap to, like, upgrade this section. Okay. Um, don't need to do that. Maybe you do need to jump on the first screen. Yes, <laughs> you have to jump. Okay, um, now which way do we want to go? So here's the exit. Um, these nodes... Uh, there's a nebula up here which says we'll slow down the fleet. Oh boy, so this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to have stuff flash back into my brain as I remember how to play, but I'm basically like a brand new player with 
a vague sense of what to do. Um, I was never very good at this game anyway. So I'm going to go for this nebula because that seems really smart. Um, let's go here. So we're jumping in and your jump leads to a completely unremarkable binary star system. There's nothing else around. Okay. Well, we lost a node then. Um, so I guess we just jump again and let's go nebs. Danger. You jump into a sector of the nebula beset by a plasma storm. An automated rebel scout stationed at the beacon moves in to attack. Okay, great. A plasma storm, a rebel scout, prepare to fight. All right, I'm going to pause the game. So here comes the baddie. So it's class auto assault. It's hostile. And um, we're going to need to uh, turn on our weapons. Um, so... We need to add power to the weapons, not enough power. So we need to take um, power from something, I believe, so that we can shoot. All right, so we're going to remove power um, from the med bay, and we need to add power into weapons. And I'm going to leave my power with my shields as is. Um, can I take power from anything else? Can I take power from, like, you know... Um, Not really. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so... Unpause the game. Now, we should shoot them automatically, if I remember correctly. Um, we're not... Our FTL drive is not moving. Um, all right, they shot us, and we're not. Maybe we don't shoot them automatically. Click on a weapon to charge and fire. Um, oh, it's manned. Okay. Um, and so... Oh, oh, here we go. I have to click here. I could also just click burst laser, I guess. Um, so we're firing. All right, did we fire? Oh, auto fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Auto fire. I'm trying to click on their ship. Um, oh, I click on a place. Where do I want to knock them out? Um, let's take out their uh, shield, I guess. Not enough power, right? You got to have two power on the weapons to do that. Our shield is holding up. Our hull is only taking a little bit of damage. Um, okay, now we got hit. Uh, did we hit them? Auto fire. Just fire as fast as you can. Okay, we got them. So how are they doing? Um, let's just go ahead and take oxygen and put it into the weapons so that we can turn on... Um, no, turn off. Uh, yeah, yeah, go weapons. Not enough power. Does it take more than just... Huh. It takes more than one to, to go up there. Um, okay. Oh, right. Okay. I see. Alright. Um, well, we're trying. We're getting hit as well by some missiles that are flying in from... Somewhere else. All right. Shoot their weapons. All right. Now they have no missiles. That's better. So now they can't hurt us. Maybe I should have prioritized shooting their missiles instead of their shields. And now we're trying to hit them, but we're missing. Um, fire. We're auto firing. Um, go ahead and hit their engine. All right. And now they're almost dead. And or this was their command center. Just hit their hit this. Got him. All right, so their ship should blow up, and it did.
Um, so we got two missiles, a drone part, 16 scrap, and an anti-ship fire drone. Okay. That's all good stuff. I'm going to pause the game. So let's look at what we've got here. All right. I'm going to go ahead. Looks like our med bay got damaged. So can I have you... Um, move here and repair it? No, no, no. Um, go here. Ship screen. We have 26 scrap. Alright. Um, we're going to need to take power away from weapons to put it into the engines so that we can you know, jump eventually, but... Oh my gosh! There's a fire! What? There's fire all over the place! Um... Yeah, he's going to fix that. We need to put out this fire. Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. Enemy combat drone. Uh-oh. The fire is spreading. So I think you turn off, um... If you turn off oxygen, does that make the fire not spread anymore? Oh, I can turn off some of these things to get power as well. Oh, no, maybe I can't. Okay, anyway. Um, here you go fix that. God, the fire is killing us. Uh, I don't even remember what to do about a fire. Can you fix it, or do you just die if I go in there with it? Um, well, they're spraying it out. I don't know how much damage they take. Here, go put out the fire. They're trying. They're getting really hurt. Like, Steli is getting absolutely annihilated. This is bad. Okay, here. You gotta go fix this fire. My poor people. Oh my gosh. Boy, I have not played this. I, um, yeah, we're almost dead. We died. Oh, there's no oxygen. Oh my god. That's the consequence. I thought turning off the oxygen would put out the fire. Um, or... Maybe it does over time. Oh my god. We're down to one person. Crash course in FTL. You're doing a bad job, sir. You've killed your crew. What do you have to say for yourself? I'm so sorry. We'll remember your service. You can't have both. You can't have a fire and no oxygen. You gotta pick one or the other. So maybe what happens, the, the, they finally beat the fire and the oxygen went out, and then they had no oxygen, and then... It just, it went downhill from there. Um, okay, so can you go here and fix this for me? Now, while I'm here, just fixing stuff up, is there some invisible timer within the game where, like, the bad guys are coming um, and they're going to catch up to me, or is that based on how many nodes I've traveled? mm mm mm, -mm. I'm sure we can just do this with one person in our crew. What what could be the downside of this? Okay, now the ship is sort of ready. Um, why don't you go into the med bay and like, can you heal yourself? Here, turn off um, shields. And just get the med bay going. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at the ship info screen and say, do I want to spend any scrap on anything? Um, you know, what would it be? More power bars seems pretty good. Okay. So I've got nine power bars. Um... 
Yeah, but maybe it doesn't matter because my reactor is not strong enough anyway. I'm not sure. Oh, no, no, it helped. Um, yeah, put the shields on then. Okay. Yeah, there we go. We got shields. All right, Stelly, go man the ship. All right, it's all coming back. It just took, it just took the death of a few really important people. Um, this nebula has been nothing but good for me. So let's go to the next one. And uh, you jump into the middle of the storm. Multiple recently uh, incapacitated ships loom in the shadows, briefly illuminated by the lightning. Um, manually search the wreckage for survivors and equipment, or avoid the risk and jump away. Of course we're going to risk it. We're, we're just about dead. And while the crew is off the ship, searching through the wrecks, two hulls crash into each other, breaking the crew's tethers. You have no time to react as someone is knocked away, floating helplessly into the gaseous clouds. So we got some stuff, but unfortunately we lost a crew member, which means we have no one. Oh, that was awesome. Okay, good. What a good return to the game. All right, let's go. We're going to restart it. Let's let's do this again. Same crew. Let's try to be better. All right. So we're learning the controls again. Oh my goodness. So anyway, if you're watching this um, and you haven't, uh, you know, kind of like exploded or just wept uncontrollably at my lack of ability and knowledge, um, if you could, you know, give me pointers to help me get better at this game, I'd really appreciate it. I, I enjoy roguelikes. I enjoy this game. It's hard sometimes because it's real time and I don't really know what to prioritize necessarily. I used to have a good strategy for getting me to the end after many deaths, but I have completely forgotten. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and jump. There's a store, but I don't have enough scrap. So I'm going to go down here. All right, it's fiery. And there's a bad pirate ship, and it says they've been placed too close to a supergiant Class M star. Um, this ship will gradually overheat until you get out here or die. Um, a pirate, apparently oblivious to the danger of the sun, moves in to engage. Okay, so we've got problems because there's a pirate ship, but there's also all this heat. Um, so solar flares are going to light the ship on fire. So what we need to do is just get out of here. I don't want to fight right now. So um, my priority then is going to be, okay, um, to take this person. Um, I don't know if they can even benefit the engine room by having two people in there. I think you can only have one. Uh, but So maybe I should just leave them in here. But let's give more energy to the engine room. So I'm going to take this off and just go full on um, energy. And we're just going to try to get out of here. So we're charging it up. They're going to come in and annihilate us. Um, our shield is gone, which is, it came back, but this is scary. Um, here, actually, no, that's what I should do. I should have this person go get the shields, man the shields, help the shields. The shields have been stunned by like some kind of EMP. Um, they luckily missed. Our dodge is up. Okay, the shields um, have been knocked out. Uh, no problem. Um, that's a problem. Solar flare coming in. Um, we've been hit. There's fire. Okay. So we had this problem before, but here's what we're going to do. Um, so we're going to um, get this person here and this person over... Um, here as well um hey get out of here go here um oh are you stunned yourself oh uh, yeah they got stunned apparently um okay so this is bad so we need to turn off the oxygen so that the fire will go out um maybe you can actually put it out in here i don't know yeah you're trying um okay shield's critical that's bad what that is is bad um, the shields are critical, and this guy is, like, stunned or something in, in a fiery room. So, this person might... I don't... Okay, they finally have woken up. Get out of there. Just run. All right. And then, um, let's put some power to the med bay. Uh, good. And let's see. 
Right, we're trying to put out the fire. We're really just trying to jump, if possible. Took a hit there. Um, okay, good. Here, you go in here. Help man the ship. Can you move over here? Yeah, you go in there. All right, good. Oxygen draining out. That should help with the flames, hopefully. Okay. Not really helping. Solar flare imminent. Um, this room is out. Okay. Uh... You know what I'm going to do is... I'm going to... Oh, I can't do that anyway. Alright. Hopefully we can jump soon. Alright, jump. Jump here. Back to the explored location. <laughs> okay. And we'll pause it. Alright, so now how do we fix this? We have disaster, like, all over. In every quadrant. We've got fires. I don't even know. I can't even turn the oxygen back on. So that seems like we got to get that on. Um, okay. So you need to go here and you need to go here. And I don't know. Um, can you go over here? We need to put out all these fires. Um, okay. You're standing in fire. Um, not ideal. Let's get the oxygen back on before everybody dies. Um, it's it's warning O2 low. I see that. Here, you go over here. Get out of there. Oh, my God. Um, go down here. You're dead. Okay. Um, all right. Turn on the oxygen. And... Boy, that was a really tough start. Like, we went to a solar... Like, there was just a pirate ship that was attacking us with some kind of, like solar flares happening and our ship got set on fire um that was the first square out of the entry so yeah this game is so brutal um i just have to get better at understanding um what i'm supposed to do here so let's go ahead and let's just try to move through and find the rooms that um need repairing yeah let's fix this one. Oh, they're dying um because there's no oxygen here you get in here there should be oxygen over here Oh my god, there you go. Um, I know you're hurt, but... Uh, we need to go in here to fix this room, but it's probably on fire. Um, so... Let's go ahead and... I can't open all the doors on the ship. Let's just drain the oxygen... To try to get rid of the fire. And then once they start dying, we'll turn it back on. Is that right? Here's our O2. I don't know. I don't know if that works or not. Um, here, what happens if you go in here? Okay, good. You can fix this. Go over here. Get the oxygen back on. Looks like some of the fire is gone. Okay, now these people can hopefully get healed in the med bay. This is great. I am so excited to be probably the worst player uh, to ever do this game. It's fantastic. Okay. Um, let's get on the doors. Can How are we doing over here? Okay. The fire, maybe it's gone. Kind of. All right. Now, I don't know if people can pop in, um, but we're going to fix all this stuff up here. Can you fix the shield room? And can you fix this room? And then, um, once the shields are fixed, we can go about fixing the weapon system, and then we're ready to go. And we just lost one crew member to the flames. No problem. We've, we've got the cameras so we can see the ship again. Um, here, you go fix this. There's no oxygen in here. There's like a hull breach. So this is going to be a little bit more difficult to fix it. Um, here, you need to come over here and fix. Can you? We can have two people repairing, right? Yeah. Okay, so you're getting hurt. Here, you go out here, go here. Um, and hopefully the the oxygen will stabilize in the room eventually. 
it has. Here, you go help fix. We're back. That was no problem. Okay, you can go drive the ship. You can go to the, the engine. Okay, and now we can jump. And let's go to the store. I didn't want to go here, but... Wasn't like there was anything good. There's only one other ship at this beacon, and it is showing heavy damage. You received a message on your console. Greetings, traveler. We were crippled by a band of pirates, and are now forced to sell our remaining valuable equipment to acquire the necessary supplies to get home. All right. So we don't have anything, really, unfortunately. We can't really afford anything. We could fix stuff. Um... You know, I could spend some money to fix our hull a bit. Yeah, let's just fix it up. That's great. Thank you so much. Um, and now let's jump. Let's go here. You come out of the jump to see laser blasts coming from the other side of the beacon. It looks like someone's under attack from the pirates. Um, well, we definitely want to help them out. You power up your weapons and engage the pirate ship. Okay. Continue. Alright, pause the game. Alright, so we immediately want... Why is your health down? I didn't notice that before. Alright, I immediately want you to go in here, okay? And I want you on the shields, okay? And we're going to kind of turn off this, and we're going to turn on that. And I'm going to... Um, subsystems can't be turned off, apparently. No problem. Um, we're going to turn down this, and I need to put all the power into the engine. Uh, all of this. Um, burst laser. Uh, go ahead. We're going to auto-fire. Um, and uh, I need you to go to the shield room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Let's go. Alright, I want you to um, one and two to go both at the um, their weapon system. Let's take that down. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and take out their shield. Next. Get him. All right, good. Their ship's almost dead. All right, now um, let's take out their engine so they can't run away. Oh, we got him. They blew up. We didn't even take that much damage. So we got 12 scrap, some drone parts, and some fuel contact the civilian ship they made a retreat okay um darn so we didn't get much from that but boy we tried okay fair enough um we you know what we got was we didn't take damage and i'm getting a little bit better at the combat sort of not really but um, we can't jump because we need somebody um, i need you to go back up here So, um, we can save this position and then just return them to this when we need to jump. So, I'm going to go ahead and keep full weapons right now and just jump um, over here. Oh no, not this again. Alright. This is going to be tough. Alright, so... I need you to go to the shields, and we're going to go one and two on their weapons. Oh, they've stunned our weapons. Dear God. All right, one and two, go. Hit him. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is not good. Yeah, we're in we're in such bad shape. 
I think it might be wise to just run away from this. Oh, we can't even escape this room because we've been locked in here. All right, um, turn off the oxygen. <laughs> oh, God. Crank the engines. Get out of here. Okay, so... Oh, we actually might beat them. Maybe. So I can't man the station, but we are still firing at them. Sometimes. Okay. Um, they're almost dead. Oh, I can kill the system that's jamming us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire is spreading. Oof, we missed. Get that burst laser on there. They, ha they put their weapon back online. We got them. Okay, so they're dead. So at this point... Um, we knocked them out. I want you to go, um, in here and try to fight the fire. Okay, we got them. We got the material. Um, okay. The engine room, though, is toast. Med bay, oxygen, get in here and try to heal up if you can, people. Let's just heal. And then we have to go fight the fire. Actually, I think we have to turn off the oxygen. And pray that the fire stops spreading. Okay. Here, go over here. Okay, you go down here. Can you fight? Can you fix this? Okay, good. And then, um, looks like all the fire is out. Is that right? Yes, except for that one. Here, go get that. We'll turn the oxygen back on. Oh no, I forgot to move them out. I turned the oxygen on, but if it has the double red bars, they die. Oh my gosh, I am so good at this. Okay, no, run. No! Okay, well, we did better. I just have to worry about oxygen management. Fires are such a disaster. It's too bad that you can't, like, locally just open this, the door to the outside. Maybe you can do that. Maybe I'm just forgetting how to do that. Like, open the doors to, like, you know, vent the fire out. Like, just get all the oxygen out instantly or something like that. Uh, but either way, now this game is great. I'm having a great time. I just have to learn how to play it again. Um, but it's it's such a difficult decision making. It's a it's a really good time. And everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you have any tips, any strategies for me at this stage, early game, just getting my feet under me and understanding uh, what I should be doing, I'd love to learn how to play. Thank you so much, everyone. Take care.